Hi Pisces, so I'm sorry for the delay on these. I was actually in bed for a couple of days with a head cold and now my boy's got it. <laughs> um, so I am gonna be doing the generals and it will be for the first half of September. I know we're nearly there now, but uh, I'll be using my Empowerment Oracle deck and I'll be using the Gilded Tarot. I will be back next week as well. Um, my website is in the description box below if you want to book in for a live reading for yourself or the questions, two questions, and I'll email the video back to you with your answers. Um, or you can have a live session with myself for half an hour, an hour. You can book all that on there as well. There's a couple of deals on there at the minute. I can't fully remember. I think there's a, two questions for 11 11. Um, but I'm going to just dive in and get straight into it. So I'm going to use the Empowerment Oracle deck. I don't know if I've just said this because I'm rambling on. And the Gilded Tarot to clarify. So for Pisces, September, we've got the Sacral Chakra. So the Sacral Chakra is around your womb, sexual organs, that type of thing. But it is the chakra that deals with creativity and ideas. So what's challenging or blocking the Sacral for Pisces? Recognition. So you could be waiting on some kind of recognition, you could be waiting on some kind of epiphany moment, you could be waiting on someone else in the lap that's within you, you know, being recognised, you know, for what you do. So you could, I could be talking about uh, single passes, uh, but it's about recognition, it's about feeling like you're on top of the world, and it's about using that creativity to get you there. Why is it coming around now? You've got divine protection. So your spirit, your spirit guides are in force. So they're saying, come on, <laughs> let's spin that sacral chakra and get recognised for whatever it is you want to get recognised for. In the past, we've got the Call of the Wild. So some of my Parthians could be experiencing dream work. You could be doing a lot of work in your dreams. You could be being pulled towards certain animals. You know, it could be animal guards. Uh, we've got the Spirit Guards there. The Call of the Wild is about being free and untaming the man, doing things the way you really want to do it and coming away from how society says you need to do it. So at present, we've got a leap of faith. So Spirit are asking you to have a leap of faith in yourself, take a risk. So there could be some kind of risk, but I do feel like it's going to pay off, you know, majorly. This risk is going to pay off majorly. You know, it's about being, um, feeling safe and secure within yourself in order to push those doors open. Bang, universe, you know. So to me, it's like the full card is the leap of faith. Near future. We've got peace, contentment, and the happy home life. So, this peace, this contentment, this, you know, all you need to do is take a risk, have a leap of faith within yourself, um, all the situations around you, your own spirit guides, have a leap of faith in the universe. Your power, your power is to stop looking back over the past. It's to turn around. Sorry, I had to cut it off then. Went on to my door. So, yeah, your power is about no longer looking over the past. It's no longer being haunted by past situations or yeah, past people, you know. Because on top of that, we've got the secret keeper. So your intuition is, like, up a notch at the minute. You know you can trust. You know you need to watch your back with. It's almost like the invisibility cloak, the secret keeper. To me, she is the, it's your intuition. She can tell the bullshit from the truth tellers. So your intuition is playing a massive key at the minute. You could have been hurt in the past, you know, backstab, that type of thing. And maybe you keep going back towards that. But they're, ask, they're asking you to have a leap of faith in yourself now in order to move on forward. Out of that energy, outside influence. They are the four, of element, uh, four elements. So it's about coming out of rainy days now and, you know, treating yourself like the god, the goddess that you are in human form. So it's about going back into the sun, getting back into the sunlight. I know we're coming out of summer like in the UK, but... Hope, Sophia's heartbreak. See, it's scared of being hurt. Scared of this happening again. <coughs> oh, outcome is twin flames. So your outcome is going towards a union. Um, and that could be what's kind of scary. You may have had some kind of like false twin flame, false soulmate in the past that really hurt you. And it's almost time. I feel like this is a leap of faith in love, Pisces. You know, but if it's not, it could be about numerology. You know, you could be seeing uh, numbers, manifestation, 1111. We do have the 1111 portal coming up in November. But it's about coming out of this drama, karma time, you know, when everything feels like dramatic and things and going up into a smoother, 
you know, calm, a peaceful, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, the yin yang. You know, so I feel like you're meeting someone, but it's scary. I feel like the recognition is for yourself, you know, recognizing the work that you've put in. Let's get some clarification. Pisces. So, sacral chakra being activated. Sacral chakra being activated. The three of cups. It's time to be happy. It's time to allow yourself to be happy. So, you might have been putting yourself on hold for a while, especially in the love situations. There could be other things to celebrate as well with the recognition. Um, let me just clarify that. The magician. So manifesting, so you're manifesting happiness, celebrations. There could be two things that you're celebrating. I don't know why I'm getting two in my head, so I want to clarify. We do have lovers. It could be a choice of two. We've got Gemini there, but it can be the lover's card is about choices. It's about having choices. Maybe you've got a chance to go back to the past or a chance to leap of faith in the new. We've got the star, Aquarius, but we've got balance being brought in, blessings with the star. The challenge being recognition. We've got Aries with the Magician, Gemini and Aquarius up to now. Recognition. Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse, coming away from the deceptive energy, you know, and you've got that here. So lying, cheating, stealing in the past, you know, you're coming away from that, maybe no longer deceiving yourself within a connection. So it's almost like seeing the truth and sometimes the truth can be a hard thing to swallow. And then we've got judgment. So yeah, making a judgment call. It's almost like the, the challenge is for you to make a judgment call in order to stop something so then you can move on forward from it. The divine protection card. So we do have spirit around you, the full card. And that's what I was getting when I saw the leap of faith. So the full card, dancing to the bit of your own drum, taking risks. You know, the divine are saying you will be protected while you take these like a leap of faith in something or someone. Um you know, starting back at zero, a brand new, fresh start. Yeah, the tower in reverse. You've built yourself up from a past tower, so there's recovery here. Call of the Wild, the Eight of Wands, so a lot of communication. Could be coming from spirit with your dream work. The Nine of Pentacles, so we've got successful employment there as well. The Nine of Pentacles, though, it's almost like I feel like you've been focusing on yourself for quite a while. You know, maybe just finances and living your life. So, like, the single life could have been single for quite a while. Just focusing on you because of a past hurt. King of Cups. So, that's your energy, but he is not as much. He's very caring, but he takes care of his own. Uh, the Queen of Cups can give out. She's a, she's more of a giver to other people. So, I feel like you've been giving yourself the love that you've needed for a while. The Ten of Cups, yeah, because you deserve emotional fulfilment. You you know, you deserve to know. I feel like you've been focusing on you, your home, you know, renovations, decorating. We've got the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is your energy. You could be talking to a Sagittarius Leo or Aries or pulling one in. But I feel like this is you getting that spark back. You could have uh, fire in your chart. We've got the Queen of Wands. So I feel like, yeah, Two of Cups. I have a leap of faith. There's a Two of Cups situation coming in. So Soulmates, you know, you've got the Soulmate Twin Flame cards now. So there's definitely new relationships coming in, but I feel like you need to have a, a leap of faith. Have that fire within you. We've got the Ace of Swords, true communication, clarity, you know, gaining some kind of... I feel like if there's like fog over something at the minute, the fog is going to lift with the clouds being there, some kind of information coming through, some kind of truthful communication. We have got the Emperor in reverse. Um, I want to clarify that. We've got Taurus energy there. The Emperor in reverse. Let's have a look. Page of Swords. So, so someone from the past is kind of watching but not actually doing anything. Uh, the Emperor in Reverse could have been a controlling person in the past. You've been divinely guided away from that scenario. If this is in relation to finances and career, you could, be, um, you could have left a job. There's a new contract coming in. You could be, you know, the Emperor in Reverse is not a really nice boss to be under. It's more of a dictatorship. But then again, we've had that uh, in the en energies, you know, that's been going on in the world at the minute. The Elephant is the Divinely Guarded card. It is about union. And the Eight of Swords, the end of anxious times, the end of being your own worst enemy with your own thoughts. You're releasing some kind of karmic energy. You're the Ten of Swords. I feel like you have been stabbed in the back quite a lot in the past and it's almost like I'm not putting up with that shit no more. You know, you, you've got healthier boundaries now or you're working on that. 
peace and contentment in your future king of swords gemini libra aquarius energy you have got a lot of gemini libra aquarius energy i do feel like there's going to be some communication coming in the four of cups in reverse no longer feeling lack there could definitely be new contracts i know there's soul contracts here but there could all de there could definitely be new work contracts as well four of cups 11 11 and you've got it 11 11 in there so we've got the four of wands now the completion of a project you know commitment which has been granted there could be a lot of numerology within your life at the minute three of pentacles teamwork makes the dream work there could be a new team you're going towards within work as well um but the teamwork makes the dream work i feel like you're actually meeting someone who's a partner rather than a relationship we've got the empress taurus energy again but now you do have the divine counterparts twin flames um soulmates you know someone who you can sow seeds with and something coming to fruition we've got equal give and take gifts of money time and effort you know there could be dates offers of dates we are in the ninth month so if there's a date coming up in september go for it but making your yeah the five of swords in reverse so relinquishing control you're coming away from controlling energy and it's like you're kind of getting control of your own life now yeah the queen of cups so i like this so you're coming into your energy now and it's almost like you've hit a point now where You've given yourself all the love and now I've dropped my burdens, ten of wands in reverse. I can think about giving my love to someone else. So your power is about not looking back over the past. We've got the page of pentacles and the tower in reverse. So yeah, past breakups, things like that. The page of pentacles in reverse. So maybe you've been feeling like you want to reach out to someone from the past. I wouldn't recommend it. But not with these cards. We've got the hermit in reverse. So it's like you've done that inner work now. It's time to move forward. You know, the hermit is Virgo. We are in Virgo. You could have been dealing with Virgo. The three of wands, be patient and just wait for your ships to come in. The outside influence. Yeah, we've got the five of pentacles and the king of wands in reverse. So you could have blocked a narcissistic energy in the past. Could have been a face hands or Jerry's Leo Aries. But the king of wands in reverse is not a nice person. Um, very ego. So I feel like you've had a run in with a narc. On top of the heartbreak, though, we have got the Four of Swords. So try and relinquish any uh, thoughts of past heartbreaks because you don't want to be manifesting that. The Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but I feel like this is your energy. So the Queen of Swords has got to the point where she will not take no bullshit. She has got really healthy boundaries. She's been through the ringer, and that is why she's so... A lot of people think that she's cold, and she's not cold. A lot of people call her the Ice Queen. She's not. It's almost like she knows what she brings to the table. So... the some you know if you can't match it then on your way you know she will stand there and she will say right tell me your story and as soon as she thinks that you're bullshitting cord you know she will cut the cord that is your energy to protect yourself you know the queen of swords is very much about protecting herself the 11 11 and the twin flames is the outcome is five of wands in reverse so again coming out of like drama karma Knight of Wands in reverse, not putting up with player energy, flatty energy, someone who's in and out, not putting up with that. Don't use the Twin Flame journey as an excuse to give, well, to give someone an excuse to treat like crap because a lot of people do and I can't stand it. Um, my thoughts on Twin Flames are a lot different than other, other readers, but I feel, like, I feel like the Twin Flame relationship is quite narcissistic and sometimes we can give actual narcissists the benefit of the doubt thinking it's a twin flame when actually it's a trauma bond i feel like you're coming away from that now though but you're seeing it for what it is and we've got the wheel of fortune then spinning in your favor because as soon as you have this epiphany moment we've got the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor the page of cups there's a new offer coming in the eight of cups so it's time to move on the the emotional cups in the past they're gone you know they tipped over off onto new adventures Knight of Swords, quick action, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy again, so it's coming in quite quick, and we've got the moon, Pisces, you, you're under no illusions, we do have the full moon on the 22nd, I think it is, the two of pentacles, you're not willing to be juggled anymore, so your boundaries are really strong, really good, and we've got the nine, because you've had to, you've had to do that though, you know, you've had to pick yourself up, every time you've been knocked back down, we've got the wounded warrior there, it's made you stronger, Nine of Swords in reverse, you know, you're coming out of times of anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, worrying about things, fretting over things. The Seven of Wands, you don't need to justify yourself anymore. 
you know so it could be quite different going from like a narcissist relationship to a normal relationship because i know myself you know walking and feeling like you're walking on eggshells feeling like you can't speak your truth uh always having to justify your own decisions and beliefs and things like that you're coming out with that energy it's like i'm not putting up with that no more Ooh. give me one more five of cups in reverse no regrets no regrets you're looking back over the past and it's no regrets i see new com new commitments coming in stronger commitments but i feel like you are cutting the trauma bonds so i really hope that gets to whoever it's meant to and please like share subscribe i am trying to grow this channel so i beg <laughs> okay bye